In this video, you will learn how to install Dlib library in a Python project in PyCharm IDE. So I have opened the Python project in PyCharm in which I want to install Dlib library. Now to install Dlib, we will click on this file here and then we will go to this new project setup and click on this settings for new projects here. Now we will click on this python interpreter and from this drop down of python interpreter we will select the correct python interpreter for which we want to install dlib. For me I will select this interpreter which is inside the hello world project. Now here please be cautious while selecting the interpreter because if you select the incorrect interpreter then you won't be able to import dlib library in your python projects. And as soon as we select the interpreter we will see all the packages here that are installed for this python interpreter. Now before installing dlib we will install cmake first because it is a prerequisite for dlib otherwise the dlib installation will fail. So we will click on this plus icon here which will open up a new window of available packages. Now we will search for cmake in this search box. Here it is. So we will select this and click on install package here. Once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation which is package cmake installed successfully. Now there is one more package which we need to install before dlib otherwise the dlib installation might enter into an infinite loop and that package is wheel. So we will search for wheel in this search box. This is the one. So we will select this and click on install package here. So the wheel package is also installed. Now we are all set to finally install dlib in our pycharm IDE. And to install dlib we will search for dlib in this search box. This is the one. We will select this. And now I have observed that if we install the latest version of dlib which is this 19.24.4 then the installation will get failed. So what we will do is enable this checkbox here to specify the version and we will select the second most latest version which is this 19.24.2 and finally we will click on this install package here. Now this might take some time for you and once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation and now we can close this window from here and here we will see dlib along with the wheel and cmake and these libraries were not present earlier. Now we will click on ok which will close this window as well. Now we will verify the installation by importing dlib and for that we will write import dlib and we will also print the version of dlib so we will say print then dlib dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. Let's now run this program and for that we will right click on this and we will click on this run hello. So here in the output we got this dlib version. Also we did not get any error which means the import of dlib was successful and it means the dlib library is installed properly and we can use this in our python code now. I hope the video was useful to you.